Hello friends, Harvey Mundan here with part two of the Smart Office Pixel uh, review. Um, a couple of last points concerning Word documents. Um, it's, uh, as you can see, we have a, a picture here. Um, and I've been trying for a long time to, oh, here we go. Uh, I, I was saying I've been trying for a long time. I tried uh, about 500,000 times to tap on the picture so I could move it um, with, without success, uh, but managed to do it first time there. So uh, you can uh, move pictures around, uh, it seems. I don't know how easy it is to place them. Not very, not very easy. Uh, generally, to place something, you need to have it at a very high zoom level. Otherwise, you've got no chance of uh, seeing where the cursor, uh, the cursor stops. Um, I don't know where the cursor is at the moment. Uh, let's see if we can place it in in this table. No, it doesn't want, doesn't want to move. So. It's difficult, for sure, to uh, manipulate those pictures. Um, I'm not quite sure. You have to tap it in a special way to, to get it to work. Um, one thing, uh, again, that you can't do is to edit. This sentence here is in uh, header, and that's not editable at all. Uh, same again for uh, footers, um, page number there in the footer. Can't edit that. So, generally, uh, very, very basic functionality. Um, I think if you want to create a document, you can uh, forget about it. Um, if you want to edit a Word document, um, you can do basic functions, um, and those basic functions are implemented quite well, um, quite easy to use. Um, but once again, anything other than really basic uh, text editing and formatting, uh, not really possible. Uh, you can't insert uh, images. Um, you uh, don't have comments or any reviewing functionality. Um, let's have a look um, at uh, PDFs. Now, I know a lot of people are asking about maximum limits um, on PDFs. So I've got a few uh, different versions here. Uh, first file is a, a quite a small file as in memory because it's just text, but it's about 600 odd pages long. Um, it's a collection of short stories. Um, six or seven hundred pages, so see how long it takes to to load that. I don't know if you can see, it's just loading at the moment. And uh, taking a bit longer than normal, I've loaded this. Okay, so seems to have loaded. And scrolling is quite smooth. You have pinch to zoom, obviously. Uh, other options, just close, basically. Uh, view, no options there. Basic search, search options. Um, not editable. Um, the thumbnail view, as you can see, is uh, is actually uh, four about six five hundred pages. So no problem with loading that. Oops. Well, uh, that's the first time it's happened. It's uh, come out of the program. So let's go back in. Uh, 
and let's try uh, let's try and open a bigger file. Um, this file is about 23 megabytes PDF. See what happens with this. It's just a textbook. It's loaded 40 pages, 44 pages. It's a little loading of pages there, you see. 73 pages. Memory full. Okay, just a little warning bar. Memory full. So it now says uh, 122 pages. Um, and then it says here cannot load document. So it's uh, it's loaded. It says 161 pages, but it's stuck. So that's uh, that's about 23 megabytes that file. Um, not not really that big. Um, PowerPoint presentation basically just gives you the slides. Nothing different from uh, from the viewer. Um, and let's uh, try this Excel file. Um, this this Excel file has uh, links to other pages. Uh, those links don't work. Those links don't work. Um, if we have a look at the page view. So, table comes out very nicely. You can change to landscape. Um, now this uh, landscape is actually a very good feature uh, because in Microsoft uh, Windows Mobile Office itself uh, you cannot use landscape mode. So this is usable in um, all the uh, different files and um, it works very well. Um, again, the functionality here is very basic. You can uh, format a cell, uh, text and alignment, all the different alignments. Um, you can insert cells um, above, below, right, left, delete cells. Um, you can... Uh, uh, here's another thing. When you have it in portrait mode and you want to edit, it will always go back to the landscape and you have to change that again. That can be annoying. So you can just edit, edit the cells there, uh, cut, paste, basic functionality. Uh, there's no filtering, there's no um, adding functions, although um, the functions, calculation functions, do apparently work according to Pixel. They have about 100 functions, um, so if I were to change a number it would recalculate. Um, you can't insert um, or edit the functions. Um, it's basically just formatting. No views there. Um, so again, very, very simple. So, um, I think that's basically it. Um, as you can see, um, it's very, very simple. Um, I think I was expecting something uh, maybe a little more um, functional, um, especially with uh, office documents. Um, not really any chance of uh, creating uh, any documents yourself on the phone. 
Um, comparing it with other programs, uh, something like Quick Office um, is uh, about the same cost for Android, um, yet it does have um, a lot more functionality. You can actually create documents with it. Um, so I do happen to know uh, they are working on version 1.2 and that will be uh, ready to come out fairly soon, I think. So hopefully uh, some improvement on what is a good, solid, but very simple at the moment program. Thank you.